Uh, let's go with gas station. A gas station. Thank you. of um, the Mart. Uh, my sister uh, is around here somewhere uh, in the Rolo aisle. And um, see, something's going on in my head and she knows me real well. We're, we're like really close. And uh, I'm about to make a big change in my life and I'm gonna do something that I've always wanted to do and she's gonna try and make me not do it. So obviously the only thing I can do is hide from her. So I'm gonna go to the bathroom. But I'm not, can you just, what is this thing? What is this thing kind of like, Maybe I'm going to become a nun. Um, maybe I'm going to be a movie star. What am I going to do that's different in my life? Go to clown school. I'm going to clown school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Jamie! <sighs> <sighs> together in that car for a long time. Uh, so I just needed a minute to, you know, be by myself and breathe in the fresh air. Wait. <laughs> you're taking a, you're not sick or anything. You're taking a time out for me? <laughs> no. In the Hess station. No. Bathroom. Time out from the car. The car. Uh, it's What's a long on? time out. Hey, how about you, you just, you go to <laughs> South Carolina. <laughs> With, for the wedding, and I'll, I'll stay here um, and uh, buy this house. Wait, you're you're really not coming out. <sighs> no, I don't. I don't. I don't think I'm ever coming out. You're not coming out. No. Uh, now is she ever coming out? No. No. This is so unlike my sister. No. She usually tells me everything. This time it must be big. I fear. Nostalgia, you know, a little bit of like comfy, cozy, warm feeling. So let's give her a memory, maybe one of yours. <laughs> mine aren't gonna work. She knows all mine. So let's give her a memory of like a place or, or, or a person uh, that made you feel just safe and loved and warm. Like my grandmother's kitchen, she always had something like simmering on the stove or uh, an aunt that maybe used to like maybe cut your hair or braid your hair. Does anybody have a, a, a person in their lives that they want to mention or a place that makes you feel comfortable and safe? 
Uncle's Weld Shop. What was it? Uncle's Weld Shop. Uncle's Weld Shop. <laughs> and um, what's your uncle's name? Or Steve. Steve. And what was he? What was he like? Couple adjectives. Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uncle's Weld Shop. <coughs> Crazy Uncle Steve. Let's take her there. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna weld stuff! <laughs> I'm so glad you're home. My mom is driving me crazy. I know she does, honey pie. I know she does. Line up the metal! Oh, it's my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, bring the match over here, honey. The gas is just spewing. <laughs> make this in like the form of a circle. Oh, you right. jump through it. You can do whatever you want, honey. You want to jump through a circle of fire? Be my guest. Just light her up. Oh, see, you get me, Uncle Steve. You get me. <laughs> I mean, I know no one gets a 16-year-old girl. We got our issues. We got our things. But, honey, sometimes you just got to light it up. <laughs> just light it up. All right. <laughs> comfy nostalgia thing might not have worked. Maybe we need to go bold. We need to go brave. She didn't jump through that ring of fire, did she? No, she didn't. I'd like to maybe take us to a time where you had like a wing woman in your life. <laughs> Who, yeah, hey, you did, right? Who maybe got you to do something bold and brave, something you may have never done before unless you had that special friend, that special wing woman. Does anybody have an example of that. <laughs> Maybe. A wing woman in your life. Like, I had Michelle Mahoney, and every time I went to a Def Leppard concert with her, dating myself, we would get to the front row. <laughs> Anybody? You don't have to reveal the thing. You can just give me the wing woman. 
Let's make one up. <laughs> what would be what would be an awesome wing woman experience, maybe, where you had uh, uh, someone that got you to do something that you may never have done before? And let's call her Kate. <laughs> a couple. Tight rope walking, tight rope walking, like a a pretend, like a uh, a clinic or a pretend. Uh, what did they have those at uh, Jordan's? You could do the like the trapeze artist. You remember that? They had that in North Reading. All right, so like a tight rope walking experience. Let's take her to Kate. Tight rope walking. <gasps> I'm so glad you decided to come with me, Jamie. <laughs> You're the best friend I've ever had. Kate, you're always getting me to come out of my shell. I know, I know, but it's, it's, it's something about making you do stuff with me that's just so much fun. I know, a little creepy. It's so much fun. <laughs> you're my bestie. But hey, I do it for you because it's your thing and, and I need a thing too, so let's do this. What's okay. today's adventure? So don't look down. What? Just don't look down. Uh, what are you talking about? Just don't look. <laughs> what the? How did I get up here? <laughs> How did that magically happen? <gasps> you were so distracted by me and me getting you to do stuff. <laughs> you you never even realized yeah. you took the elevator up to the top of the building <laughs> where they made a very special, special tightrope-roping experience between the Hancock Tower and what? the Prudential Center. <laughs> <laughs> They're spreading, you just can't see it. It's one of those things. It's one of those things that Kate, if we do it together, if we do it together, then we can do anything. Oh my god. You're right. I can do anything. We can do
You feeling ready to tell me what's going on? Uh, I'm getting there. But see, Kate and Steve and all these other people, they have they have something different that, that I'm sorry we just never had. And I just don't know if you're going to get it. I'm sorry. Jamie, <coughs> there's nothing wrong with being, being different. I mean, there's nothing wrong with doing different things. I mean, you're a kindergarten school teacher. That's cool. I mean, you, you do the best things for all those little ones, day in and day out. The world needs kindergarten school teachers, you know? But not, not all the time. I mean, maybe sometimes kindergarten school teachers have other things that they maybe want to do besides be with five-year-olds, are they? It's a puzzle. Well, I get that, you know? I mean, I know I'm molding young minds, but I could also be molding the masses in other ways. Maybe I wanted to. Why don't you come on out and tell me about it? I'm just not ready. Go have another Rolo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's time to pull out Grandma Nana. <laughs> Grandma Nana in our household is, is the matriarch of the family that always kind of dispenses the the quirky wisdom, you know, the, the quirky pieces of advice that sound twisted, but when you dig beneath the layers, they actually make sense. Like, like, put your ear up to the muffler <laughs> and listen for what's wrong. <laughs> We've all had those people in our, in our families, right, that, that give you kind of the quirky pieces of advice or or are twisted pieces of advice, but they ring true. Does anybody have a piece of advice that they've heard from a beloved family member? Save your belly button lint. <laughs> <laughs> like save the belly button lint? That was one of great things to be for You're still here. I'm going to be here until you come out of the bathroom. You know, Jamie, mm -hmm. this whole thing is kind of reminding me of, um, I just wish Grandma and Nana were here because, oh no, you did Yes, I am. I'm yeah. doing it. I'm invoking Grandma and Nana. <laughs> you know, you know what she always used to say? <laughs> she used to say a lot of weird things. <laughs> But the best and weirdest one of all. Oh, yes. Kind of makes you giggle, but kind of makes you think. <laughs> A little bit, yeah. Save the belly button Save lint. Save it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't waste it. <laughs> Don't ignore it. Don't ignore parts of you. <laughs> parts of you that are growing inside. <laughs> or not necessarily inside, but.
Are you kidding? 